Yeah. Right, ladies and gentlemen, time now to introduce our cabaret tonight. And uh, let me introduce two of the funniest blokes here in the county of Norfolk. Uh, a lot of you might have seen them at the Madden Market. They really do take the mickey out of certain people. But please, would you welcome on stage the one and only, it's the Nimmo Twins. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we have hardly any time tonight at all, so we're going to try and squeeze in about half an hour into about 20 minutes. And uh, when we were first asked uh, to come in tonight, they said, um, we're going to celebrate 10 years of Fleming. Uh, and we thought they meant Roy Waller's commentary. <laughs> Croft made a movie. <laughs> He's shooting too much. So we're going to tear through. Um, we hope you um, enjoy what we're going to do. Uh, congratulations to Craig this evening. Expect to see the team here as well. Um, we met loads of celebrities tonight, and this is a song about some of them. Thank you. I woke up with my trousers round me ankles. The smell of Vaseline hung in the air. I had bite marks on my gonads and a dog lead in my mouth. There was cream and KY jelly in my hair. The cocaine still burned in my nose, my hands were tied with pantyhose. A dog licked gravy powder from my ass. And as I struggled to my feet, I made this vow that I should keep. And I'm gonna tell you all about it now. Never go for tea around Kevin Piper's. You'll be drugged and violated, that's for sure. Well, if you go for tea around Kevin Piper's, be prepared to walk home feeling sore. <laughs> the air was filled with threats and dirty swear words. Cutlery and plates smashed to the floor. She came at me with half a broken ball. And a knuckle duster on each hand and all. The Ipswich tattoo on her tits that gave me 40,000 fits as she swung a pipe chain high above her head. And as she hissed, await your death, I smelled the whiskey on her breath. I cursed myself for breaking golden rules. Don't tell Delia that her gravy is too lumpy. Cause she's touchy since Nigella came along. If Delia do your dinner, just be thankful. She don't serve her wearing just an orange thong. I sat in Devil's Advocate last Sunday. With a blonde girl grinding just above my crotch Dressed in a red bikini body soaked with baby oil I said, darling, how much would that be a touch? She leant in close and I heard her say For twenty quid we'll go all the way But when I touched her bits my blood ran cold There was one meat and two big veg instead of well-tripped lady hedge I looked into her eyes and then I knew Jim Bacon does lap dancing on a weekend When he's not doing weather on the east But if you ask for extras of Jim Bacon You get the long range forecast for next week One more I was standing on my own when she come over She licked her lips and said you make me hot before I knew what happened, she had one hand on my bum And the other one was on my you-know-what She said, take me like a mile cross heart Smack my bum until I fart Then rub me down with Yesney's EDP I pushed her off, she dropped her dress I said, honey, there's my egg and cress I jumped out through the doors and shouted loud Never get into a lift alone with Trisha Cause there's no one that alive that she won't snub And if you get into a lift with Trisha Be prepared to have your bollocks rub Thank you very much We, uh, we are available for children's parties by the way this Got a poem here. I know this is the place you've been. This is a poem celebrating one of the places where I know all the, the players. I've seen them down there as well. I'm a man of courage, will face all my fears. I've known grief ever scalding, make steam of my tears. In wars still unfought, I have lain down my life. In nightmares seen Kim Riley bugger my wife. <laughs> Suffer tortures and torments too vicious to name. Listen to Broadland, had my bollocks aflame. 
But on Saturday night, however much you goad, there's no way I'm walking down the Prince of Wales Road. No fucking way. No way! I'm not walking down the Prince of Wales Road. It's like Beirut with kebab shops. It's a social commode. From the Prince of Wales pub to the angler complete, complete wankers with voices like hinges on meat. Every weekend, see them out on their benders with faces like Roy Waller's ass in a blender. They wear too little clothing and way too much gold as they, why I? their way down the Prince of Wales Road. You see, I'd rather not walk down the Prince of Wales Road. I'd sooner fillet a dead natterjack toad. I'm shit scared of Norwich boys out on the beer who give me a herby hiding, then call me a queer. With their Ben Sherman shirts on their Sherman tank frames, stink of beer, CK1 smoke and FC UK. You see, I quite like my teeth in their current abode. Not smashed on the pavement, I'm a bit <laughs> You see, there's no way I'm walking down the Prince of Wales Road. It's scary, it's Larry, it's hairy, it's cold. Even girls make me scared with their Bacardi bravado, their breasts bouncing by like a pale, veiny cargo. They fold up their arms to the chill Norwich wind, while nipples like bullets point down to their shins. <laughs> Skirts so short, you can see where they unload as they sashay in herds down the Prince of Wales Road. See, there's no way I'm walking down the Prince of Wales Road. I'll go a longer way round. If the cathedral's not closed, I'll nip down Rose Lane. That way I can manage. Oh, no, there's a load at the all-night jet garage. You see, sometimes cars knock them down as they drunkenly cross. It's the one silver lining in the cloud over us. We could thin out the number by the way that we drove, swerving to hit them on the Prince of Wales Road. You see, I'm sure the Prince of Wales would be dismayed to know that this thoroughfare that bears his good name has bucolic inbreds who drink till they're sick and girls led by men who are led by their dicks. <laughs> and everyone's so ugly in so many ways. No, hang on. That's like the royal family today. See, on weekends, it's Norwich's unwritten code that you never, ever walk down the Prince of Wales Road. I thank you. Don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. You don't need... Another song. Can't stop. Can't stop. Mr. Steggles called when he got the word. He gave to me a spoja him hud. Of stag me. What happened? I had. So I rushed to the window and I looked outside. I couldn't believe my eyes as a chav in a limo pulled up in a next door's drive. Well, I don't know why he moved it, but I really wish he'd leave. The value of my house has dropped, my nerves are up the creek. Cause for 24 months I've been living next door to Carol. Carol? Michael fucking Carol? 24 months full of noise and misery. Cause this fucking walking asbo lives in Swapham next to me. I'd rather be in Baghdad than be living next door to Carol. Carol? Michael fucking Carol? No time, we've got no time, so stop it, we're off. <laughs> See, if I'd won nine million on the national lottery and thought of all the places I could live in luxury, I wouldn't choose fucking Swaffham. You know what I'm saying, the bloke is a retard. He built a 20 foot bonfire on the first night he was here. Choked us all with acrid smoke, filled us both with fair, till a move to New Cat seemed like a good idea. Wait, that's what's a bloody man of God. Fucking going. Cause I'm a 24 months of middle fingers being raised. I'm not a man of violence, but my fantasy these days is to get a flame and pineapple and shove it up the arse of Carol. Carol? Michael fucking Carol. Ever since he moved here, I've wanted him to die. But killing Michael Carroll would be classed as countryside. Only Argos like Burberry would surely mourn the dead of Carroll. Carroll, Michael fucking Carroll. He held banger races right through the night. The selfish, anti-social, fat track suited little shite. I'd like 
to shove them gold chains up where the sun never shines. What, Brancaster? Yeah, Crowboy. <laughs> His parties ran for days on end with DJs pumping tunes. If I paintballs at my window, we threatened twice to sue, but the police said if we nick him, no, then we'll have nothing to do. He's a bloody white man crying where we keep us in work. Because he's always in the papers with his smirk and chains and rings. Saying we don't understand the pressure money brings. Well, Delia Smith's a multi-billionaire, but she don't act like Carol. Oh, she get pissed and start shouting. All right, bad example, bad example. If you're poor this Christmas, just be aware this wealth can never buy you friends or love or happiness or health. Ten million pounds and we bought the very worst from Michael Carroll. Carroll. Michael fucking Carroll. He's rude and thick and vulgar, he's the neighbour straight from hell. But I know you like his money and I like his cash as well. Hell. Cause if I earn ten million, I'd no longer be next door to Carroll. Oh Michael Carroll. Oh Michael Carroll. Jesus, he's such a twat. Ladies and gentlemen, um, well, obviously we have a... <laughs> we'll never play here again. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of problems with uh, a lot of people in Norfolk. Um, some of them recent visitors, some of them that have been living here. And this is a man who's um, going to fill you in on some of the details between the two. Thank you very much. Right, shut up. Good evening, asylum seekers. As you knew, you are being temporarily housed here in Great Yarmouth, or Waterworld as we like to call it, whilst your claim is being processed. As you know, there will be a written test to confirm how much you know about the laws and the customs of the area you're moving to. Questions such as, how does a Yarmouth girl turn off the light after having sex? Answer, she closes a car door. Anyone scoring over 50% will be refused asylum. So we don't like smart asses round here. Now, as you knew, before becoming a citizen of Great Yarmouth, you must take a pledge of loyalty. So please raise your right hand, the other right, and repeat after me. I pledge that whilst living in Great Yarmouth, that if I am a woman, I will wear more gold jewellery than Mr. T, but not be as attractive. If I am fat, I will wear leggings. which will give me a camel's foot at the front. <laughs> and make it look like they're being eaten by my fat ass at the back. Man or woman, I will wander around with an expression like Gollum licking piss off a live rail. I will have hair like a burger bar mop, skin like a pop dog, and teeth like dog ends. I will use the fucking word fucking as a fucking comma rather than a fucking exclamation. I will admire the work of Jim Davidson. That is until he turns around and calls us all a bunch of tattooed morons, which is a bit rich coming from a sexist, wife-beating, racist twat like him. Still, he do a lot for charity. I shall speak English in a whining accent, making every statement sound like a question. <laughs> My definition of posh will be without an asbu. <laughs> After two years of living in Yarmouth, my entire family would have been on Trisha. <laughs> Twice. I will take my children to Tesco's, Iceland, and Lidl, specifically to Hitham. <laughs> and finally, I will never leave. That is, unless I'm an asylum seeker, in which case I'll be driven out. Thank you very much. How long do we have? How long do we have? Does anyone tell me how long we have? Hours. Hours. No, we, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't. 
Um, I'm going to try a quick song. I've never sung this before. Um, uh, I've never done this before. So if, if it dies on itself, I'm going to jump to that song. Thank you very much. I was born feet first in a silage heap. My family trees are stump. There's seven fingers. Oh, fuck, I fucked that up. It was all seamless up to them. Of course, they're really professional from Norfolk, because they've been crap. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the one, uh, another one here. Um, Norman, hit it, boy. Um, this is a song about. I did it in the wrong key, that's why. And the guitar was out of tune. And uh, no, I fucked up. This, um, <laughs> this is a song about you wonderful people, where you come from, and your aspirations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Woke up this morning, and my woman was still there. Putting on her Armani as I checked on my stocks and shares I went down to the kitchen, my kids said Daddy Hilaire The au pair cooked my eggs better deep to refill the cafetiere I've got those living on Newmarket Road Middle class having a wonderful life blues Yeah, it's a wonderful life I'm so happy in Norwich, yes I just don't know what to do I don't, I really don't I really don't know what to do our clothes are from Bowden and my underwear's designer I drive an SUV, my children go to Steiner We read Norfolk magazine, the mail in the EDP I strongly believe Tony Martin was right, but I don't want him living near me I've got the member of Neighbourhood Watch Shop with John Lewis, Jim Carter, Club Blues Order the Blues Turn it down! And though we voted Liberal I hold extreme right wing view. You're oh, very extreme right wing. Down a bit, Norman, grab it down, just touch. I work at Mills and Reed. My favourite word is super. I fully support the NHS, though we belong to Boopa. I like the theatre and arts, opera and John Grisham thrillers. We're so posh in NR4, we have the big issue delivered. I've got those shopping and waitros and Eaton Theatre Royal Gold membership. Blues. Oh, yeah. We only eat organic so It's been three months since I pooed out. Really am bummed up, very very bad. In an Audi on Sundays, we drive out to Bintree for lunch. We eat at the Walpole Arms, go shopping for antiques and trunch. I wear my barber and cords, my wife wears an unpleasant hat. My daughter talks like Princess Anne, the locals think we're twats. I've got those Heather set tennis club summer in Portugal, everything's A-OK. -okay. Between the Oper and the Nanny, good God, I just, just don't know who to screw. Oh, do both of them, go on, get in there. Our house is full of paintings and ethnic overpriced rugs. We sit in by appointment, like Charles and Camilla on drugs. Our children are called Jocasta Lillette, Retsina and Lenore. Two of them are models, and one's a fat burst free crack whore. I've got those, listen to Mozart at Blickling Cathedral, recital and wine tasting blues. I really have. And we don't mind blacks and even could God no, as long as they're cleaning our loos. You know the score. At Gerald's we go shopping, we know it's a place we fit in Cause everyone's up their own asses with bad hair and bright orange skin And sometimes we go swinging with an s and a couple from trash I'm chained up in the cell while my wife screams round the house I've got those liberal democrat candidate dinner in Dringle for Nocho and we'll inoculate our children so they don't catch poor off of you or you or you or you, especially you at the back. We go to Clement Jocelyn for expensive things to dust. Get our barber coats from Galleons just to wear our local pubs. We'll pass our money to our kids, our prejudice to wit. Good breeding, prep and uni, and they're still the stickish shit. I've got those Mercedes in judges, what golden retriever and head boy at Norwich School. Oh yeah! And we never do North City, good God no! That scum should be in a zoo! And one more time, I let me tell you what I've got. I've got those living on Newmarket Road, middle class having a wonderful night blues. And one more time, I let me tell you what I've got. Congratulations to Craig Fleming, if only he could score some more goals. Alright, 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 alright,
have a wonderful night. Good night. There is no more. We've been. It's Piper. It's Piper at the gates of dawn.